right, it is 10 o'clock in the night on the 27th of March. We did all of these again, we do all of these as an overview um, because it's simpler this way, more valuable this way. Please do, if you're liking what I'm starting to do, where we just do quick overviews of a certain companies, um, obviously click the subscribe button if you haven't, click the thumbs up button and comment below if there's a company that you're interested in in us taking a look at. Um, overview, right, the in-depth has to be on Patreon, um, value, value, it has to be on Patreon where it just makes more sense and obviously um, over a longer period of time maybe we'll get up on it just like, you know what, we'll post it later on YouTube. Right, right now it'll be on Patreon but we might not release it on YouTube. It'll just be on Patreon. Um, it'll depend on you know, how things go, how, how much support we get on Patreon. So we're looking at Standard Bank, Standard Bank Group. This thing is enormous. This thing is enormous. Um, we're just gonna go down. <laughs> it's enormous. Again, when you're doing fundamental analysis, there's a number of things that you take into account. You don't just look at an income statement and a balance sheet and a cash flow statement, right? There's a whole lot more that you do behind it. A lot more. This is this is like surface level stuff, right? That we're doing here. Because even under financial documents, you know, you need to go through the income statement in, in more depth, the balance sheets in more depth, cash flow statement in more depth. You look at the history of dividends if they are and you look at how the earnings are, you look at what the ratios are, um, and you look at the trades there, then you also go and you look at um, you know, the news, what they've been doing, you look at the, the management's like, you look at um, what type of risk tolerance they have, you look at what their direction is with the management that they have in place, you also look at the technical analysis of it. Um, over five years and a year, and then you look at their forecasting, what is the forecasting based on, what assets did they buy, how are those assets doing, and it goes on and on and on, and that's when you're really digging deep into it to try and figure out whether the price makes sense. Right? That's that's why people are like Warren Buffett, like it takes me a long time to do it because a lot has to be done. Okay, so we're just doing, we're scratching the surface on what this thing that's on my cheek because it doesn't feel safe. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, let's go straight down to the total revenue. Total revenue. I could have sworn Standard Bank deals in trillions. No, revenue, revenue, my mistake, revenue. That's the total probably in trillions. The revenue. Uh, it's been going up 67, 70, 68, 74 billion. Um, and then, of course, their, their net income is also, which is lovely. It's about to go up some more. End of this year, I wouldn't be surprised if it went up to about a 15 plus. Um, yeah, that, that's what I'm going to say. There's this thing that Standard Bank has been working on that you're not generally going to see here. But you're going to see if you dig deep and you keep your ears to the streets, the Wall Street. Um, yeah, so these are ratios. Again, real quick, you know, we're within the trillions. We've got 2.6 trillion, 2.5 trillion, 2.5 trillion. It's going up just above 2.5 trillion. It's going back up close to 3 trillion. Um, wouldn't be surprised if in 2025 there was 3 trillion. Maybe even this year, but no, I'm trying to be conservative. 2025, 2022, 2024, 3 trillion. Um, then you've got, of course, your equity. You've got of the <laughs> of that 2.7, you've got 2.5, which is in liabilities. So you've got 214 billion. Ugh, again, I wouldn't be surprised if it hits. 500 billion in 2025. No, that's going to be three years to double. Cash flow. 
Again, they've got um, the the operating activities have been dropping from the core from investing. They've been doing okay because right, now they're paying it off, right? <laughs> they're buying, sorry, they're buying, and then from financing, they're paying it off, and so um, it's the, the net cash is being okay. So yeah, man, uh, there's there's something there's more to this, definitely more to this that actually makes Standard Bank a buy. Just make sure that you're buying it at the right price. That's my tip.